So we're going to do this video game take challenge for kill switch 4, 2, 3. So thanks for taking me. And it's just a list of these questions to go over and I'll answer them to the best of my abilities. So starting with favorite game slash games of all time for PC and console. I'm going to start with console because it's a lot easier. Um, I grew up pretty much as a Nintendo fanboy. Um, my favorite games were like Ocarina of Time was really good. I really think um, Zelda um, Ages was fun. That was a really fun game. Um, I didn't really understand Majora's Mask enough to say it was good, but I really liked the original Pokemon. Um, Final Fantasy X was amazing in my personal opinion, but I know a lot of people that hate it, so I don't really tell people that a lot. But I really liked Final Fantasy X. I thought the characters were like pretty cool, and the combat system was pretty good. Now on to PC, it's a lot harder to say. Um, just not a lot of games really jive with me as much. Um, later in my life, I'm a lot more into like indie games and like small May games, but um, the ones I'm going to say is Minecraft, because Minecraft was pretty changing at the moment it came out. Portal, I enjoyed Portal, it was really fun, it was one of those weird puzzly games, it still makes me sick to play, but I really enjoy it. And the last one I will throw out there is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, which is a roguelike one, like the original roguelike, where you survive a zombie apocalypse basically and you run around grabbing food and whatever and I just like the mechanics of um, the weapons and all the other like cool little stuff you can do it's not really a fully fleshed out game in my opinion it has a lot of problems but it's still pretty fun um, favorite genre of game would probably be I guess Avenger or something like that. Something where I go out there and I go saving things. I like turn based RPGs. I like the original Final Fantasy X. It was just like really solid for that combat. And I really like systems where you tr try to figure out how to break it. I also like survival games. So um, I guess those are my favorite genres. Um, I hate games where you have to like remember so many things mechanically and whatever. Um, also, I should probably throw out MOBAs, because MOBAs are what I probably play the most of right now. Um, mostly because they're just really easy and you can just go and play them really quickly. They're not easy as in skill cap wise, but they're easy to pick up and then just drop off. So, I guess that is that. And let's see, oldest game you remember. So, technically, the oldest game I remember is probably something with marbles, but the two ones that I'm going to throw out there the most are both sort of related. And that is Chess and the original Zelda game. And the reason why they're both connected is because my dad introduced me to both of them roughly at the same time. And I was very little, and I remember two things about my gaming experience and that is eventually getting to the point where me and my dad only had kings in chess and me wanting to play on my dad eventually telling me it's pointless because there's you can't win which uh, fundamentally you're at a tie and the other thing is in the original Zelda um, trying to get the whistle was like the biggest thing ever for me and my dad so you had to fight like 50 of these like knights and whatever and they are annoying and you have to hit them right like in the side of the back and they always seem to turn forwards and hit you right when you try to go for it um, I've recently finished the game like maybe a few years back but that is not the worst part anymore it's I think temple like 6 or 7 I don't know it's the one with the ghosts and I hate the ghosts and they're terrible because they just Especially the blue moving ones, because they suck. And they just suck very hardcore. Um, what games are you looking forward to? Um, I forget, is it like PT or something like that? Uh, it's like this AAA horror game. Um, I think it's on PS4. It's like, all I've seen is a trailer. It was like 
wow, this is, like, really freaked out. And, like, I've been over and over and over trying to play the original Amnesia. And I can't play horror games because they are so, like... I suck at dealing with that kind of thing, but it intrigues me. Like, I think games like Amnesia are well done because they are scary, and it re when I was watching it, it was like... It kind of had that sense of, like, anticipation that you kind of expect. And it's not just, like, jump out and scare you, and it wasn't, like, a shooter-looking thing, so that was amazing. Um, I also feel like, since I've been such a fanboy at Nintendo for a while, um, I have to say the Super... Mash Brother game that's coming out soon. Um, it's pretty intriguing because it has a lot of characters. They know what they're doing and are trying to make the roster even bigger. So it is something that I would eventually tr probably check out. Um, I don't know. That and the Z Link... Um, what was it? Wind Weaker? Yeah. That is like... Those two reasons are the only reasons why I'm even thinking about getting a Wii U or a console in general and like PT is the only thing making me think of paying like six hundred dollars for like a console and a game just to play it because it looks super amazing so that is that one um who is your least favorite character um I think it's Seymour from Final Fantasy X just because that guy is a total fucking creep um, you play the whole game, you go, this guy is corrupt as fuck. Um, a lot of the battles with him kind of suck to fight against him. You, the worst, like, one of the worst battles in the whole game is fighting him on the giant snow mountain when he has, like, his flying blade form or whatever thing, and he zombifies and auto lives people, and it's a one shot kill. And at that point, you don't really have the funds to be zombie-proof, so he just kills people instantly, and almost every time I've gotten to that point, I just grind before that battle, because it's easy sailing up till then, and then boom. And that's not even the last battle with him. The last battle with him is a joke, so... It's... I mean... He's well designed in the fact that you're supposed to hate him, and you hate him for the reason you're supposed to hate him, but the boss battles are inconsistent. Um, another character I really hate is Cerebella from Skullgirls. It's not her combat system, it's not her personally, it's just her ending on the storyline. It is an absolute moral atrocity that she would do that. When you are given the power to wish and you still do such a corrupt act, it is... It is fucking unforgivable, so... Yeah, I hated that. I hated that ending, I hated... I, I literally turned off the game and went and took a shower because it fucking sucked. <laughs> um, not something I would never do. Um, who is your favorite character? Um... I could say Link. It's not really Link. Um, I liked Min. I hated um, Twilight Princess. I didn't really... Well, not hated. Hated is a really strong word. I didn't... It wasn't what I thought it could be. And I understand and I appreciate it for what it was. And it was the story of Min, and Min was a great character, but I really wanted an Orcarina of Time too, basically, and there was no way that game could ever be made because nostalgia is a fickle thing. Um, so Min is awesome. Um, Yuno was the character of Final Fantasy X. She was such a symbol of innocence and all that. That was amazing. Um, Kirby is kind of creeping up in my favorite characters list just because he's a pink ball that is fucking fun. And played him in Super Smash Bros. and I've been picking up his other games and it's pretty fucking fun. So, um... Yeah, those are my favorite games, favorite characters and stuff. So, thank you for watching. I'll think about people to take this in, and peace.